Fat Shard. Wait a minute. Who are you? Zol. Huh? Cassidy. What? What the fuck? Welcome to Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla has just hit 100 million brawlers in their celebration across all playable platforms, including mobile. But over the years, the game has seen a slight shift in its audience per se. Whilst clearly catering to a younger target demographic as possible, one question got me thinking in my mind, is this actually a good direction for the game to take or a bad one? So the reason I say this is because, well, for the obvious reason being that returning veteran players won't particularly be happy for the changes. It's not just the logo, which by the way, we should have seen this change coming since the in-game timer and player stock count update, but it's the in-game changes like characters and UI too, which we will get into the legends a little later, but as a whole, right now, it just feels a little unnecessary. For the most part, it's nothing they changed really too noticeable and pretty much everyone who plays the game got over it fast in about like 4 days or so and barely recognise it now. To me though, it just makes me wonder, what's next? Now let's move on to the legends, because many people have forgotten but Cassidy, Zol and Thatch and heck, maybe even more legends have had some interesting reworks to say the least. Whilst clearly catering to a younger audience to appeal to as many people as possible to get the game, I can't help but wonder does this mean that other legends could see some reworks in terms of design? Or from the developer's perspective this can be seen as a negative, as Brawlhalla's in-game crossovers actually can't go above anything PG. So if you thought we're gonna get GTA 5 in Brawlhalla, Bruh. you are incredibly mistaken. And that's actually why I low-key see it as a negative because it limits what we can have as a crossover in Brawlhalla. In the comments, if you had to add a crossover that was like adult mature content, what would you want it to be and why? Because for me, I like the show Power. I know Book 4 Season 2 is right around the corner and I can't wait, but imagine Tommy in the car emote. How dumb yet cool that would look at the same time. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? <sighs> Prehistoric, but okay. Still the same thing, I guess. Their branding. After watching Dreamhack Dallas, I kind of got used to the logo, and it actually fits better than the old ones. More simplistic, yet so much more care put into it, you know? By the way, congratulations to Luna and Snowy for 2v2 and Yuz for 1v1s. Those were some incredible games, but back to the matter at hand, their logo design choice. It was completely unexpected. I can't imagine they're going to change it again once they hit 200 million brawlers. Welcome to Brawl Hollers 200 million brawlers celebration. Bruh. But all jokes aside, why change the logo to begin with? Was there actually something wrong with the design before? No. Does the new one look better than the old one? only slightly. Are they just trying to jump on the trend of simplifying their brand like Pringles, Warner Brothers and Pizza Hut? Ah, uh, Pizza Hut, you will be missed. <clears throat> anyway, highly unlikely, since those things aren't gaming related anyway. So what could the reason be? And what does it mean for the future of Brawlhalla? Well, this is actually one of those good things where returning players can come and look at the game and say, Oh wow, this looks so similar to the game I played back in 2017. Oh wait, there's dashing now? And like 4 new weapons? Hmm, this long one seems a bit broken. Oh my gosh, I can't catch that legend. Maybe I'll subscribe to Craig because he makes good content and he can show me something. And for the new players, it basically doesn't change much. Bruh. So what other changes are there to discuss that could impact the future of Brawlhalla? Well, depending on whether or not you leave a like on this video so the algorithm sees it to newer audiences, that could impact the game because 100 million isn't 8 billion people, and not everybody knows about Brawlhalla. But all in all, 
these changes are mostly positive and healthy for the game, so that's about it really. Hi, my name is Craig, and thanks for tuning in to Craig's Cartoons. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and check out some other videos on your screen. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one.